Oh my god. Oh fuck my life, that guy does not play. Fuck. What's up guys, Duck Opinion here. We're here on the third island, hanging out with uh, this guy. I pretty much started this mission, and uh, he was, we had to kill one of his friends because he got sick and was turning into a zombie. This guy himself is sick and said that some, um, some scientist nerds were talking about something in the water, and now we're gonna go up to that spot that has nothing up there and see if we can uh, get some access to go over there. Kinda cool, I mean, you know. The more you do mission, the more you can maybe get on it. That'd be kind of cool. Made a video earlier about. By the time you see this, I'll have a way I've already posted it. But the video was about the, this particular third island and how you can't really do anything over here. It would be kind of funny if you unlock it later on. So what else did you find out? Do you know where the army went? Bugged out. Well, the ones that weren't sick or hurt, at least. You saw what they did with them. This whole operation's been a chuckle fuck from day one, and your people seem to be the only ones with your heads on the outside of your collective asses. Just sorry your reward for that looks like death by super cholera. You know, when we first set up camp here, the captain designated this as our R&R &R spot. <laughs> Short of sitting on our bunks jerking off, all we were allowed to do with our free time was come up here, swim a few laps, suitable barbecue fodder. <laughs> In retrospect, I'm not sure which I regret more. I recognize some of this. It's the same shit the Geek Squad was carting around when they were trying to find out what caused it. Huh. What's it do? Fuck if I know. This is a professional bullet stopper. They don't waste big words on me. They must have bailed in a pretty big goddamn hurry to leave all this behind. See if we can get a better look. All right, let's get a better look, Sarge. I'd like to actually be able to get on the damn thing. It does look cool down there. Oh, oh, cutscene, cutscene. Oh shit. Yeah, succinctly put. Now it's been a while since I read my field survival manual, but I'm pretty sure dead guys rotting in your water supply is what's known as a bad thing. We're gonna have to leave the valley, aren't we? I mean, we can't keep drinking this. There's only one way out if you don't have air support. It's the pass back by the fairgrounds. It links up with the main highway after about 10 miles. The trouble is, the army blocked it off when they left. Probably trying to stop whatever this is from spreading. Then we gotta open it back up. Well, then how do we get out? I'm not sure yet. I got a couple of leads I can check out. Meantime, your people ought to start stockpiling supplies. I don't know what things will be like on the outside, but I doubt it's good. So that it, dude? So don't drink the water. I mean, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I was saying that earlier about how it's fucking gross, dude. Those are all like bodies. Turn off that light. Those are all like bodies in our water. We were up here earlier. It's a very gross scene. Very disgusting. Are you just gonna stay here and just breathe it in? I mean, you're about to die anyway. I'm surprised my guy isn't coughing. I need a breather. There is a scene on this game that I um that happened that I didn't quite show you guys that I had to kill one of the survivors survivors because he knew he was sick and I had to shoot him in his head. It will be in my kill montage for this game, but I didn't actually capture the footage. I got an invisible door there. I didn't actually whoa, big guy capture the footage, so I just captured I just captured it for the montage instead. <laughs> it was cool though, I shot him right in the fucking head, blew his head off. He was about to turn. It was awesome. Swords out here are thick, ducks can fly. Alright, so we got a mission up here at the at this exit strategy mission. And um, let's see what this guy has to say about it. It randomly popped up like I talked about. You know how they do after a time. 
So, yeah, I've not been all the way over here before, so I'm going to see what's what's up. i got a horde and everything behind me, so get ready for some action. This is uh, right, State of the Cave Party 11, by the way. This pass is the only way out of the valley, and the army clearly doesn't want us leaving anytime soon. So, why don't we just climb it? We don't know what's on the other side of that pass. We're going to need food, medicine, transportation. You know, the usual. So, what? We need to tear it down? What? Nah, no way we can tear down this barricade by hand. Zeds would have us for breakfast before we made it ten feet. Can we blast our way through? What? I'm thinking outside the box. No, I like it. It's got a certain devil-may-care panache. So, what's the plan? I guess we need to find some explosives. Big ones. What about the other survivors? We can't just abandon them and hope they figure out the problem with the water. You're right. Start putting out calls to everyone we know. Tell them to get ready to move. We're all getting the hell out of here. Um. All right, are we are we getting the hell out of here? I hope not, because I kind of like where I'm at. And the makers of the oh shit, the makers of the game said that this game won't have a it won't have a continuation after you beat it. Where are you going, dude? Hear all this like high tech music right now? I'm tripping out, I'm trying to figure out what the hell's about to happen. What amount of poop is hitting the fan? Hey, are you gonna go look into those survivors I mentioned? No. I'm not. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna. We need to find explosives, apparently. I guess. It didn't say that, though. It didn't give me locations of explosions. It just said. They acted like we had them. This game's confusing sometimes. But I'm just trying to get you the footage. Some of this stuff will be jump cutted in. Like, you know, we had we were at other we were at the other place earlier. And I had to wait for this mission to show back up. I didn't do much, though. I, I got some really good weapons. That's about it. I keep finding some epicness. Of epic weapons. And I went the wrong way. It's been a lot of driving from city to city for me though. It's been really frustrating. I don't like driving from city to city. It's not the funnest part of this game. I will tell you that much. Ducks can fly! Looks like I might have just uh, wait again, hold it out. See those jumps? I really want to make a, a video of me just hitting some jumps. That'd be cool. I know where a few are, but we'll see. I want to kind of go ahead and beat the game and then do all that stuff in my second one. Because my second one, I'm going to take my time so much playing that. Like I'm not even giving two fucks about the missions. I honestly don't think there's a point in coming back here. We'll switch to her. Since the dude's getting tired. Alright, so let's see what I have in the supply locker. Um, I've been having a lot of guns. I've got a lot of automatic stuff, SMGs. Some really epic pistol, more SMGs. I got some rifles, some huntman rifles. I got an assault rifle. Got some good shotguns, revolvers, some SMGs. I got some really just an, a sick amount of weapons. And a good bit of armor to go with them. A good bit of ammo to go with them. Plus a whole bunch of tools that get repaired. We have a lot of stuff. So that's how you can kind of tell. When you're stockpiling like I am, you can kind of tell that you get to the point where this game's going to be like, okay, time to end the game. The only thing that would just really make me happy if I beat this game, if they had some kind of a new game plus... 
and like a, maybe a nightmare mode where it's harder. Because I gotta say, I've not died at all on this game. I've came very close, and I've played... I like how you're just standing out here, dude. That's how people get in trouble. Yo, yo, yo. So long. But we'll see on my second playthrough. I just hope there's a new game plus or something like that. Alright, I know it's going to be a bitch, but I'm going to totally drive back there. I mean, eventually it'll say something. I don't know what it wanted me to do. Came back, got got a character I care about more than the others, because this one's at like... It's like one of the first characters I got. You know the black guy with the fro? He, um... He got like an achievement for me, because I've like used him for so long, so... He, you can tell he was my favorite character. He was used the most. Ducks could fly! I wonder how we're gonna escape. We're gonna have to see what happens. Ready to go collect some explosives? Come with me. I've got an idea. Now, if we're lucky, when the troops pulled out, they left behind anything too heavy to carry. Maybe including artillery shells. If they did, the ammo would be in this warehouse. There's just one problem. Let me guess. Hordes of shrieking, ravenous undead? Congratulations. You're less of a fuck up than some four star generals I know. Okay. Um, we might have a problem here. What's up? We've been looking through some of the records the army left behind. It looks like before the main force pulled out, a bunch of soldiers got sick. It sounds like the same thing Alan and Pastor Will had. Anyway, they ran out of room in their infirmary, so they started putting the sick anywhere they could find room, including a certain warehouse. The warehouse I'm heading to right now? Yeah, that place is going to be lousy with zombies. And to think, I actually had hope for this generation. Alright, they just said there's going to be a buttload of zombies here, so I want to try... I want to try something that I found out that I can do. I unlocked these... abilities. So when you're in a sticky situation, and you know it's going to be a sticky situation, you can call out your abilities, press down on D-pad, and I can call for backup. Need SWAT support. I've not Swat's actually the seen way. this before. Send in backup. But Tight. we're gonna we're see the if way. they show up before I go in here and do this mission. And see if they can Oh shit! Help brother out. There's my squat. So there. Alright a squat team. They're also ninjas and they have guns and so do I. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna fuck shit up. How's it going? What's the word? How's it going? Sure. We might actually unfuck ourselves at this rate. Alright, so there's a big infestation here. You can only have these squats for a few minutes, so... We need to get the fuck in here and do this. Ooh, that big guy is big, big boy. Guys, go oh shit, guys, guys, guys. Woo! Jump a big boy here. Ah, he's slapping up there like a little bitch. Okay, big boy. Got him. This is the most zombies I've seen on this thing yet. I want some action. This is an action fill. <laughs> you guys want to shoot more often, maybe? I'm sure they have a bunch of help, though. I'm glad I got those ninja guys. Doing this alone would have not been fun. Someone should have brought an extra weapon. Dude, shit. Good. I'm glad you got that sword out that we should shot him. Woo! We're not even there yet. That's just opening this door. Hope they have something. There's a lot of people here. They could have did better job. Nice. Whatever, man. A paddle will work for me.
So I'm actually like breathing hard and shit. <laughs> That's what it's like though, I'm gonna gladly stab some help. Look at these guys coming. Think they're playing? They're not. Break his fucking skull. Go, shoot guys. You guys completely have that. But these ninjas kinda suck. Why don't they shoot anything? We gotta push in here though. Can't say those ninjas help as much as they want, but I got friggin' six guys plus myself going on right now. I think we're doing pretty damn good. Minus the fact I don't know how the hell to get in here. My ninjas left. Those ninjas did not help near as much as they should have, but... They were kinda cool. I am not inside to go in here. Let me scavenge a little first. I guess I might need to back up something. Can't believe that noise to freak these off. Nice. Oh my god, it's like a bunch of weapons. This is gonna be one of the bigger. This is gonna be one of the bigger episodes, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this has gone from bad to fucking. Whoa! Fuck! Fuck! Well, this has gone from bad to fuck. Oh, dude, that big guy can kill you in one hit. Can't do that right now. Woo. I'm sorry, Jats. That won't work. I was not quite prepared for what you guys were telling me to do. Yeah, I'm bailing. <laughs> this is sketchy, you guys. We're gonna try to come back here with a little bit more supplies, and I don't really want to. I don't want to die. That's that's a no-no. So, oh man, ducks can fly the fuck out of here. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That was that was so scary. It's the most zombies I've ever seen on this game. Hey, they locked us in. That'd be the most trollest thing ever. All right, you guys, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get myself a little bit more prepared for these guys. I got a lot of shit, too. Woo, shit at the fan. We gotta bail. Talk to you guys next episode. Peace.